<laughs> I'm in my zone, I'm feeling it. Hey guys, and welcome back to Misha's Corner. So today I'll be making short ribs, Misha's Corner style. So let's get started. All right guys, so these are my short ribs right here. I'm gonna go with ingredients really quickly. I have some onion and serrano chilies right here and two bay leaves. This right here is my Korean style rep red pepper, which is also what I'm gonna use on here. Don't worry, this is not gonna be spicy or too hot. Um, I have some fire roasted tomatoes. I have my beef broth. I have a nice bottle of red wine. You can use whatever you can afford. And you're just gonna season this up with the spices. So I'm gonna go in here with some sea salt. Well, kosher salt. Coarse kosher salt all over the short ribs. Then I'm gonna take the uh, Korean style red pepper. I love this stuff, so I'm gonna use plenty. It's not hot, it's just super flavorful. But you can overpower a dish by using too much, as with any other spice. You're also gonna take your black pepper, and that's pretty much it for this step because we're gonna sear this off and get a nice deep golden brown color on here. Make sure you get all sides. All right guys, so you're just gonna start searing off your short ribs. Gently putting them down in a pot. I'm probably gonna do four at a time because I really want, I don't want the oil to cool down too much. There we go, so I'm gonna do four at a time. And then once they're golden brown, you're gonna remove them all and then we're gonna move on to the next step. All right guys, so now I'm gonna flip. Yum, oh. You see how dark golden brown? That's what you're looking for. You really want to get color on your short ribs. It takes a little patience, but you can do it. And um, I'm going to brown the rest of these up, and then we're going to move on to the next step, and that's when I'll come back. Okay guys, so I'm gonna open this bottle on camera so y'all can see. For people that don't know how to open a bottle, don't be afraid, it's very easy. You get you a bottle opener, they're always next to the bottles in the wine aisle. You push it down, okay, you secure, then you turn the knot, the top. Then you do, and pull, bow. That's easy, right? Okay. Let's move on. All right guys, so you're just gonna take your serrano chilies and your onion, and we're gonna saute this until it becomes nice and soft. And after this becomes nice and soft and brown around the edges, then we're going to deglaze the whole thing with the red wine and the beef broth. All right guys, so I'm gonna pour the red wine down in here. Remember, all measurement ingredients will be in my description box. You're gonna cook this out for about six minutes, five, six minutes. To this, you're gonna season it up with some salt and pepper. In my case, I'm using the uh, Korean style red pepper. I know someone probably out there wondering why didn't I use flour on the meat? Or why didn't I use flour in my little onion mixture? Trust me, it's still gonna work out. I chose not to use flour, and I'm gonna let you guys see exactly what it looks like. So you're gonna reduce this for about five to six minutes, and then we're gonna add the beef broth, and put the meat back in, and the aromatics, da da da, and let it cook for about two hours. Okay guys, so you know what I forgot? My garlic, so I didn't even chop them. You're gonna put about five to six garlic cloves down in here while your wine is reducing, and mine is pretty much halfway there. And then I'm going to add my beef broth. Don't worry, this is gonna cook forever so your garlic will break down. All right guys, so now you're gonna add your fire roasted tomatoes. And you're gonna mix this up. Get it nice and in there. This house, I swear, this house smells so good. This, this dish takes a little bit of effort, but trust me, it's totally worth it. Then you're gonna take your beef broth Put it down in here. So as it's coming to a boil, I'm gonna just start putting my short ribs back in. 
You're gonna cover this. You could either cook this in the oven or you could cook it on the stove top on low heat. And forget about it. I'm serving this up with some fingerling potatoes and some rainbow carrots. You can serve it with whatever you want to. Just gonna bring this back up to a boil. If you're doing this in the oven, you have to bring it to a boil before you put it in the oven or it will never come to a boil. It needs to boil before you put it in the oven. And that's pretty much it. And I'll show you guys what this meal looks like once it's done. Okay guys, so this is what the meat looks like. As you can see, the cloud is just messing up my camera, but I'm sure y'all can see it. And um, if you can see how thick the gravy got, this was no flour in here, no anything. I just kept making it reduce until it got all the way thick. The last 15 minutes of cooking, all I did was tasted it for salt and pepper and added some fresh thyme down in here, and that's all I did. So now I'm gonna plate it up, and I'm gonna let you guys see exactly what it looks like. All right guys, so this is what it looks like. You can't see much because, you know, the way it's plated, but I'm gonna show you a better view. Once I take my pictures, underneath I have a potato cake, then I have the short rib, then on top I have some tomatoes, and yeah, I'm pretty much gonna show you guys exactly what it looks like in my next clip. So yeah.